My presentation today was on asteroids, their scientific interest, and also how to get there, how to study them, and how to do something about them if they become a danger to the Earth. The main idea was to, to tell people about the small bodies in the, in the solar system, which are asteroids. Yeah, the, the idea is um, that asteroids are what was left over when the solar system was formed 4.6 billion years ago and uh, we should study them for scientific reasons because they contain the material that uh, is still left over that we are all made up of so if you want to understand our past then um, we, you have to go and study asteroids there's no alternative but also asteroids can be a danger because they they are objects of several hundred meters of diameter and they continuously hit the Earth and the Moon and other planets. And uh, our Earth is um, susceptible to that. So there's a danger to us if this happens. It might, even if a sufficiently large asteroid hits the Earth, it might annihilate, eradicate uh, civilization. We, but this is the one uh, catastrophe, natural catastrophe, that we have the power, even now with existing technology, to do something about. And if we can avert this problem, then we should avert it. But the strange thing is that people don't even know about this. So um, I think they should. I think they should understand what technology can do for them. In this case, it can save us all. Every human being in the world, uh, rich or poor, or in civilized, or perhaps uh, living somewhere in a country which is not industrialized, everyone will benefit from, from such an action if we have if we one day we have to save the Earth in this way. I think that in space sciences, like in all sciences, we know this and we know even so little that we don't know how little we know. There is so much we don't know. So basically there is a huge area of unknown uh, things and, we, we have, and, and even if we do uh, full powered science all the time, we would just be able to remove a little bit of ignorance. So the idea that we already know a lot and are just uh, adding, adding uh, useless knowledge perhaps, many people say that, but it's not true at all. So even if you look at what we know about Mars, or we think we know about Mars or the Moon, and we compare that to what we thought we knew about 20 years ago, where also people thought they knew everything, uh, much of what they, they thought they knew back then was wrong. And I'm sure that uh, people 20 years from now will look back and say, hey, what these people have been saying is completely wrong. Yeah, when I think about this campus party as a technologi technological event and I, I see the young people who are here and, and the questions they ask and the things they are interested in, and I think it's really great because uh, more and more science is becoming interdisciplinary. So, especially in my field, you cannot go and do space research just as a space scientist or as a geologist or as a chemist or whatever. You have to have knowledge in all the fields. You have to have biological knowledge and you have to have chemical knowledge and you have to know about uh, geology and everything. So um, I think it's really great that you get all people together, like, like it's here. So there, has been, there have been people talking about robots, people talking about asteroids and people talking about Mars and all that in one day. So you get a really big picture and I think we need, on this world, we need, we have enough small picture people, we need more big picture people and I think the, the, this campus uh, is, party is, is really a way of giving people a bigger picture.